but has become a rarity in these parts, Toronto actually has a playoff team to cheer for this weekend. I hope the, the city and, and the people in Toronto are excited about it. The Argonauts square off against the Edmonton Eskimos on Sunday. The winner, one step closer to playing for the Grey Cup. Every team's goal is to, to get to the Grey Cup. Uh, we have an opportunity to, to play in it at home. I mean, that's, that's pretty special. November 25th marks the 100th Grey Cup game. Toronto hosting the event for the first time in five years. We're trying to take it beyond beer and football and beyond a VIP party. The festivities kick off all around the city in less than two weeks, and the Grey Cup organizing committee is doing everything in its power to make sure you take notice. From street parties to movies to family-friendly events to the game itself, there will be no shortage of action in the downtown core. Thank God we started early because there's really a, a tsunami of activity headed our way. That's great, in my opinion. <laughs> I would suggest everyone uh, join that party if they have time. Some Torontonians starting to feel the buzz. It's the uh, 100th anniversary, so and we're in Toronto and it's in Toronto, so I think, yeah, they care. Hanging on with my buddies, uh, going to the pubs, that's, that's another way. We put money into the city, that's to uh, bring more business. Others without a clue. I don't know anything about the Grey Cup. Do you know it's coming to Toronto? No. 25th, are you going? No. Music will be a huge part of Grey Cup week with several free concerts and of course rocking the halftime show, The Beeps. Rob Black, Global News.